like some of you guys know me from before. Maybe this is the first time you see me. I've lost a bunch of weight, and it was all so I could do that lap around the edge. Yeah. But somebody's got to fire the dude who didn't mop the front because I slipped. Going around that corner, you saw me, door guy. Look, well, you guys, you guys didn't see it. You missed the funniest thing ever when the fucking asshole comedians are like. Ah! See that? Luckily, the microphone cut out. Nobody heard it. All right. <laughs> that was awesome. What an asshole I am! Oh my god! In front of the cute girls in the back. Hey, you saw? You didn't see it. You heard it? Oh. Yeah. Crying in the corner. It was like, ah, oh, fuck, shit, goddamn. Ah, oh, I hope my mom's not listening. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, please. Whatever. Fuck it. Jeans can be replaced. And my integrity was never there, so... <laughs> Peace the fuck out! Oh, man, you guys are awesome already. I love your energy, you fucking sound guy. We had a good time before. I'm glad you put a shirt over that European sweater. <laughs> I wasn't talking about his chest hair. I said something different. Was... I love it. Snap is right. Snap, oh, my favorite iced tea. Uh, I don't know, I'm just, I'm stoned, I'm talking shit right now, you guys are so great, it's amazing, uh, I'm still trying to regain my breath from, like, Jillian Michaels ain't got nothing on the fucking route around this goddamn edge, you guys see the agility as I was going, like, I don't know if you felt the, felt the wind velocity, but it was like, and my pockets are full, like, I'm carrying a pipe, a dab rig, there's a torch, I got some weed in here, Maybe a couple drinks. No, nope, those are gone. I was like, drink tickets? No, they're, they're gone. They're awesome. Uh, I love it. I love it. If you guys are as drunk as me, you're probably thinking to yourself right now, that guy looks like one of the dudes from the Workaholics. Yeah. But I'm like he is, too drunk and stoned to figure out which one, so we'll just have to go with the flow, you know? We'll drug testing tomorrow. Great. Of them. <laughs> I don't discriminate. It's awesome. Dab and dab and do. As all the dabs will do. Uh, I'm glad you mentioned that. So you reminded me. I love. I love. Who loves dabs? I do. My kind of people. This is amazing. I love, I love dabs. It's just crazy. Like to me, just like everything else in the world, the women, the military, Vince McMahon has infiltrated all of it. Because every time I hear any type of dabs, I think of him. You know, it's like, no matter what, it's like, wax, shatter, crumble, John Cena. It doesn't matter. I'm like, fucking Vince! Hey, it's sort of like, I think all the weed names is like, you know, like WWE Divas, you know, you got Durban Poison. Uh, Blue Dream, White Widow, yeah, Sable, yeah, I know I'm old school, I'm like, yeah, Playboy Girls, you know, that's what I'm talking about, I like my weed in magazines, is all I'm saying. What do you want to know? I'll be outside smoking if that's what you want to know later after the show. Am I going to get you stoned? I'm a comedian, you're supposed to get me stoned. What kind of gig is this, Junior High? What the fuck's going on here? You bring me up to Longview, Washington, out of my comfortable green state of Oregon, and you want me to get you high? It should be evergreen state. Yeah. <laughs> and where's the weed at? All right, let's get done with this. All right, no, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm here to tell you guys jokes. I brought my own weed. It's awesome. Uh, I love it. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. If some of you guys are new here, welcome to the show. This is how we do things. We fucking get drunk, make an ass out of ourselves, tear our favorite jeans, yeah. and then <laughs> worry about it tomorrow. Because, hey, Levi needs fucking money in their pockets. I love you. Thank you. Rock and roll. Put a patch over it. Yeah. Hey, ladies. You like these patched up pants? Yeah, I tore them at the bar. How? I 
fell on my knees. Who's coming home with me, ladies, right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? All right. It's awesome. I love it. Uh, ladies, hey, it's cool. Uh, it's great. No, it's not cool. It's weird being a dude in today's society, you know, because chicks are weird. First off, dudes, bros, hombres, amigos, you can't call them chicks anymore. It's 2015. No moss. That's why I came up with a clever idea to call it. I will fuck you up, man. <laughs> you're, American Trump's Europe every time, man. Risk or in real life. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Are we dead on the batteries or what's. <laughs> so, step it up! I'm fucking. What's the. Uh, that fucking hip hop video movie. Step up? Yeah. I'm going to do that to you, bro. Step off. Sound guy. You know, this is a fucking, this is a rivalry that goes on from the, the beginning of time since there was sound, because the comedians were first. <laughs> come on, don't, come on. Fucking caveman fell, farted, first joke, right there. <laughs> Some sound asshole was like, I'm gonna record that. Amplify. <laughs> wireless. Fuck wireless. I hate this shit, man. You know what's awesome when never runs dead? A wire. <laughs> that shit is tried and true. Will never fault on you. That's actually not true. Cause ever since like. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys. It's all right. You call me without the microphone. It's okay. That's what I'm talking about, right? This, this is cooperation, science, this is media and life, bro. Let's work together. We'll figure this th out. Yeah. I'm just kidding. That was me. Oh, yeah, you got that. Ah, you went on the sound. I'll tell the jokes. <laughs> oh, this is, you guys are great. How you doing? What I want to know. I'm just, I might be bleeding. I'm like, <laughs> I wake out and bleeding. That just shows you guys that I'm not a pussy. All right, I'll fucking do this show while I'm bleeding. Who's my? Where are my gang members at? I didn't time La Vida Loca for right. I don't know. I didn't do any of that shit. There was a dude with a beard and probably a war criminal history in here earlier. I was scared out of my mind. I would just like you guys to know that I wrote this entire set earlier. The fall and everything. Sound guys in on it. These are all pre-prepared jokes. I have a tampon. Bullshit. If you got a tampon, you should save it. You might need it for whatever tampons are needed for. No, I don't. It's not a fucking hole in my knee. A tampon would do no good except to just like bat at it and like dab the blood away. What I really need is a maxi pad if you have one of those. If there's any like eight year old ladies that has like a maxi pad or some sort of non tampon, non string device where I could just like fucking glue that thing on there like an eighth grade gymnasium fucking brace. And I'm going set for wrestling practice or some shit like that. Duct tape! You go from tampons to duct tape. What else you got in your purse, girl? I'm interested now. You got a face. Oh, Maxi Pat! Yeah, girl! That's what I'm talking about right there. Fucking love Rocky, man. I'm gonna... This is great. I don't need wings or any of that shit. I'm gonna... Pussies, alright? I'm bleeding here telling jokes. Take a picture. Yeah, look at that. Ah, I gotta, I'm gonna fucking, this is first day here in Longview, alright? 
Which side goes down? Wait, I'm not wearing panties, so the tape is useless, right? Like, tape it to the inside of my pants? That's a great idea. It's like a patch and a bandage at the same time. This is awesome. Mama Bear will tell you, hey, you need to cuff up your pants, duct tape works on the inside and the outside. You got a fucking boo-boo, you grab a tampon or a fucking maxi pad, you stick that shit to the inside of your jeans, honey. Levi Strauss ain't got nothing on my goddamn maxi pad. What brand is this anyways? Because I don't want no Dollar Tree maxi pad going on. I could have BPA or something. I could like grow up to not have babies or something like that. And we cannot be grandkids anymore. Bleeding through now my ripped favorite jeans for you long view, just so you know. I don't fuck, I'm not, I don't want to fucking deal with this. I don't fucking, I'm gonna just, you know what we do uh, in my hometown, we just wait. Pour some beer, pour some beans on it, alright, woo, woo, it's good, it's new. Fuck that tampon here, pour some on that too for the homies, cause hell. All the water just evaporated. <laughs> this is like Johnny Carson meets Longview. I am just gonna fucking suck that up with the maxi pad. <laughs> just like the commercials, it soaks up half as much liquid as the leading other brand. <laughs> Mom, I don't know where I went wrong in my comedy career, but this I think is probably it. <laughs> If I was eight years old, I'd put that on my head and call it a mohawk. <laughs> oh wait, I'm fucking... I don't even care. Thank you very much. The 9 o'clock show is different from the 11 o'clock show. Oh god, no, I said 11, girls. We're going all night long. This is, there's another show after this. You're gonna have to pay another $5 cover and get out more maxi pads. very much for being here and supporting live comedy. We do support, uh, we do appreciate you and your support, all right? There ain't no other way that we can get free drinks and maxi pads. You know the last time I saw a maxi pad? <laughs> Is that for me? I, all right, power, you guys missed the first show. Seven o'clock show, fucking straight up. Bam, power stance, what's up? Here we go, joke time, are you ready? What, did I break it? Don't worry about me, girl. My knee's all right. I know you're worried because I'm bleeding. There is plasma and blood protruding from my knee region as I tell comedy joke time fun stuff, like live in-person television. I know you're a mother. I, what's up? I'm still doing babysitter. I'll, I'll stay the next morning just for breakfast. I will. I'm hungry. I know how it goes in Longview, too. You got a fucking deer over each lazy boy in the front yard. Or in the front living room. Whichever house I stay in or whichever one I get kicked out of. So I'm not going to do this. That's a true story. Is my fly down? Where's she at? Brandy, where you at? That's what I'm talking about. I got, I got, I got uh, eyewitness accounts of times where I've been in Longview and slept under a deer carcass. It happened. Yeah, it does happen. It did happen. Well, the story goes like this. I did a comedy show in Longview. 
Just like tonight, I was drinking, drink number two, on stage. There's like four other drinks up there. Uh, Comedy in Longview, drinking, good times, no maxi pad, didn't fall down that time. There was possibly a 20 inch rim that rallied across the stage as I was telling jokes. Oh yeah. Lost focus, baby. Yeah. Uh, people remember last night's awesome. uh, <laughs> Go home with a beautiful lady. Yeah, meet her kids. Her ex-husband. Her two beautiful fucking mounted. What were they called? What are they? Elk. Elk. They're deer. They're deer. Sorry, you're bucks. wrong. They're bucks. bucks. Oh. They're bucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And as she went to sleep with her kids, her ex husband made me a sandwich and helped me wash fucking that fucking uh, buble on the VMAs as I fell asleep underneath the bucks. <laughs> That's a true fucking story! No fucking! <laughs> Thank you, Longview, Washington. <laughs> um, I wish I had a maxi pad that night. <laughs> for the tears, not the knee. For the tears. <laughs> sad, sad. I didn't know whether to laugh or cry on that one. You cry, here. <laughs> cry. <laughs> Let me give you a tissue. That's, yeah. That's been on my vagina. Or maybe somebody's, I don't know. This is just like reuse, recycle, right? And I, whoa, come on, dude. Like, you ain't never fucking went down on a girl on her period. Don't get raw on me, all right? Exactly. Why are the girls owing on that? Like, you don't like that shit. Thank you very much. <laughs> We've only gotten to the factual part of this whole situation, not the funny part. We're just like, oh, God, that's gross. Red rings, salty. Uh. <laughs> You guys are horrible people who do that sort of stuff. Not me. This is like, this is you, not me. You guys. I appreciate the girl who gave me the maxi pad saying, not my husband. We know. I did give it to you, just like all the STDs in Longview. You're welcome. You, the 7 o'clock show is different from the 9 o'clock show. The 7 o'clock show, I got them. The 9 o'clock show, I give them away. Uh, it's on the maxi pad. It just works under black light. I'm glad you guys are still working with me here. This is awesome. you guys it's crazy being a comic uh earlier if you didn't catch the seven o'clock show there's a comic talking about uh, being married and relationships and stuff like that and as a comic it's weird like <laughs> you're married is totally weird like you know you have but being divorced i'm trying to remember the joke i just want to fuck with you guys right now this is fun but i need to get out of here so the next comic can come up on stage and tell real jokes but it's weird comic who's divorced, you know, because like some comics get to brag or complain that they turn their wives fucking lesbian. Yeah, I one up those bastards. I turn my wife Muslim. Bam! Take that, God! <laughs> it's awesome. It's crazy. It's like... When I first met her, that's what I said. When I first met her, I was like, boo, because she was all Baptist. Now she's in a burqa, just ankles and eyes. That's all I see. And it's crazy, because I'm Catholic, so I just think it's a bad habit. <laughs> Thank you. 